What is up makers, my name is Jack Daly and welcome to Design More. In this episode we are going to be talking about offset lithography, the process, advantages, disadvantages, why to use it over flexography and the other printing processes and what it can actually print on. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so the first, first things first is what is offset lithography? Well, here's a little image of offset lithography and you can see it shows rollers. Now, every printing processes, every printing process, sorry, uses rollers um, where the ink is either transferred to the roller or something like that. Offset lithography uses the basic principle that ink and water do not mix. So as you can see here, there is two rollers at the top, one for water and one for ink. And then you have a second roller here, which is the bigger one, that has a printing plate on it. Now what the printing plate is, is that it's a plate that has the design, the desired design that it wants to print on. And that is wrapped around this main cylinder. Okay, so now this main cylinder is then placed on with water which then dampens the areas that do not want to be printed and then the ink then comes on and only sticks to the places that haven't been dampened which are also the places that need to be printed on. Now, as you can see, there's a separate roller somewhere around here um, that's called a blanket cylinder. Now, the, what this blanket cylinder does is it takes the design from the main cylinder and puts it onto, obviously, the blanket cylinder and then puts it onto the paper and now this is where offset lithography gets its name from because this offset doesn't print directly onto the paper it prints onto a blanket cylinder now what this ultimately does is it ensures that the actual cylinder that is normally made out of clay and you know really durable material stays durable meaning it you know basically it, it has a longer life unlike if it was printing on straight onto paper. Now the material that the blanket cylinder is actually made out of, it's rubber. So with this, it then transfers the ink onto the paper that will run past it, and then there's another cylinder underneath it that has, uh, that is called the impression cylinder. It helps absorb the ink from the blanket cylinder onto the paper. Okay, so now that we've talked about the process, we're gonna talk about what it can print. Now, it can print things like glossy magazines, um, book covers, um, business cards, you know, um, cereal boxes, any, ma any material that is absorbent, and we'll talk about that in another video, absorbent, non-absorbent, why certain processes can um, only print on certain designs and materials. Offset lithography can only absorb, only print on absorbent materials because it's not an impression way of printing. Um, but we'll talk about that later. So, okay, so now, now we're going to talk about some advantages and disadvantages of using offset lithography when printing. Now, some of the advantages of using offset lithography when printing is that a fifth roller can be added if you want a glossy effect. So, as you can, you can tell, you've got four cylinders, four separate cylinders, as we talked about in the last video, process colours. One for C, one for N, one for Y, and one for K. But you can add a fifth roller, and what this can add is that it can add a glossy effect onto the printing, onto the uh, print. Other, other printing processes can't do this. The advantage is the good quality, how fast it is, um, how consistent the image colour is and how long the printing plates can live, basically how durable they are. Now some of the disadvantages are the high cost, because obviously you know, you're going to engrave the plate which is expensive, the cylinders are expensive because they're made out of clay um, and they're hard to, and they are decently hard to maintain I guess, um, but they are good for long runs. Okay, so now that we've learned about offset lithography, just a quick recap, we've learned about the process that we've explained, ink and water, talked about what it can print on, so obviously absorbent materials, and we talked about some advantages and disadvantages of offset lithography. So, this has been Design More, my name is Jack Daly, and 
I hope you enjoy it, makers. Um, remember to check out my Instagram, check out some of the other videos we've done, and obviously subscribe for future videos. I would love to do a Q&A if you guys would um, ask comments down in the YouTube comment section or go to my Instagram, I've posted a photo asking you know, Q&A. So if you want to be featured in the next Q&A video, then feel free to go onto YouTube, comment, go onto Instagram, comment, comment your questions if you have any. So that's all good. Uh, thank you for watching. Remember to leave a like if you like this video so I know what to do next. And remember to subscribe for future videos on printing, uh, drawing techniques and all that good stuff.